with more and more land being constantly deteriorating and degraded around the world, changes are needed to ensure that drylands can benefit humanity for years to come. We are concerned about the worsening situation of desertification in all regions and its far-reaching effects on Earth. We want to be aware of the causes of land degradation and desertification and how to overcome these phenomena. Once, in class, we read a story by Andrei Platonov, the Sandy teacher, and we learned the experience of Maria, the main character of the story, who wanted to transform the world and build a new life on the border with the Central Asian desert, and Maria came up with the idea that people should be taught how to fight the sands. The sea used to play with the shores, now all that's left is the wind and the sand, the ships stood under the sails, ready to go beyond the horizon. Yesterday the Aral Sea generously shared fish, but the rivers gradually dried up, feeding the wave for centuries. The sea disappeared in the 21st century, nobody saved it. Why? Landscaping of the desert from willow bushes using a condenser box made of biodegradable polymers. The seedling is planted in a hole no more than 10 centimetres deep. A pallet box is put on it into which condensed moisture flows from above. One cubic metre of air contains 2025 grams of water uh, due to the differences in daytime and nighttime temperatures and it is easy to condense. From the pallet, water flows in small doses to the seedling. Boxes can be created in unlimited quantities very cheaply from improvised materials cardboard, plywood, waste, plastic from biodegradable polymers that will become fertilizer for plants. Germination of seedlings is possible up to 9095%. The second method is the design of the architectural construction of an eco-farm in the step with elements of nature. In the design, we offer large glass windows to maximize the use of sunlight. This will save energy. Um, the geometric solution in the design supports these glasses and allows you to give the shape of a butterfly bird fowl. When our descendants see the desert, we have turned the earth into and begin to search for justifications for our generation. They might grapple with the difficult question of our responsibility to make the nature and future generations. Our descendants may argue that our generation faced immense economic pressures and social challenges. We may have been compelled to exploit natural resources and pollute the environment to ensure a high standard of living and prosperity for our civilization, economic growth, industrialization, and the satisfaction of material needs might have been priorities that outweighed environmental concerns.